Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I posted, but uh, I've been experimenting on some new projects doing 80% lowers. You can see, there's no serial number, no nothing like that. So what happened was I ran into a problem. Um, you see right here, you had some chatter. Um, I was using a drill press to mill out the trigger pocket right here. And what happened was the milling bit, because of the vibration from going horizontal, which I understand you're not supposed to use a drill press as a mill, got it, whatever. Don't want to hear it. And the drill bit had slowly dropped down out of the chuck. So when I was trying to finish up uh, the depth on the trigger pocket here, the milling bit had dropped down what ended up happening was I milled out too much of the trigger pocket. So you can see right there, there's buildup. Now that's JB Weld. So I wanted to quickly go over how I went about repairing this lower. Because if you just look at it from a distance, you would never notice. Let's see if I can get some good light in here. Um, if you look inside, you can't really tell especially because I sprayed it with epoxy. So, what ended up happening was the mill bit dropped down. So how I fixed it was, this is roofing flashing. It's aluminum, you can buy it at Lowe's, you buy it at Home Depot, it comes in silver or it comes painted like this, doesn't matter, either one. Uh, so I use this to make gas checks for cast rifle bullets. So what I did was I took a strip of this, cut it, and I measured the distance that I needed here. So I cut this to the perfect width, laid it on there, and took Gorilla Tape, because it's super sticky. Make sure your aluminum's clean, uh, there's no oil on it so the tape can stick to it. And then what I ended up doing was you take a Sharpie marker and you press down nice and hard to get this to form to that contour so you have a nice flat, even base, right? So you don't end up getting a lot of buildup like I ended up getting. So now what you have done is you've sealed off this bottom pocket and then what you do is you fill in your JB Weld epoxy on top of that, all right? The next thing you want to do is take another strip and you want to measure the width and you can cut this with scissors, don't use your wife's good ones, she'll probably kill you, uh, and then cut out a form that will fit inside your trigger pocket to cover the area that you messed up. Right, So you put your JB weld down, then you take your aluminum that you cut that matches your trigger pocket, and you drop that down, support it from the bottom, and press that aluminum down on top of that JB weld. Right? Then what you're going to do, once that aluminum is in there, you're going to put another layer of JB weld on top of that. So pretty much you're giving that JB weld a center section of support with a little bit of aluminum. And as long as you have either a little bit of aluminum material front to back or side to side for this to sit on when you go to drill it out and mill it again um, it's going to support it right so there's not a lot of load bearing areas on this um, uh, I don't know it, it worked so what I ended up doing was I built up enough JB weld down here on the bottom that I ended up taking the milling bit and having to go back over it to get it to the correct depth on the inside and then put my trigger um, jig section on the top and then milled out the, the trigger section again. So if I would have taken the time and taken some good fine grit and sanded that down, uh, you probably wouldn't even know. But it was my first lower, didn't really care. Um, I'm not trying to win beauty competitions with it. Just wanted it fixed, make sure it was functional. And uh, if anybody's curious, I painted this with VHT, uh, black engine enamel, very high temperature, and it is not resistant to brake cleaner, as you can see here. So I'm probably going to strip this off and do some uh, try at home anodizing get some anodizing dye off the internet. I'll make a video about that later. And then also found a video of how to do 
uh, etching. So I wanted to try some some home etching. I have a friend that has the vinyl printer to make the stickers so you can make your form whatever emblem that you want and then do something over here for safe and fire. Try and do something funny, something cool with it, just mess around. Like I said, it's my first 80% aluminum lower. Um, trigger pocket turned out okay. Um, again, I was using a drill press and you can see here I didn't do it correctly on this side and definitely learn from my mistakes and you can see that side turned out exceptionally well but the clearances on the inside are perfect no issues I've had a trigger group in there lined it up holes work nothing binds it fires tested it uh, works just fine so that's a, uh, a quick easy way to let that work out now last word of advice when doing the JB weld on this pocket follow the instructions on the package it says to let it cure for at least 24 hours put that JB weld in there and let it cure uh, if if it's cured correctly when you go back in there with your milling bit you should get this fine powdery mist um, more of a dust not a mist of uh, JB weld when you mill that out you don't want it to be gooey or, or sticky or anything like that so let that stuff cure I know you're gonna get antsy if you have to fix it and wanna wanna try and repair it, but again, there's the uh, the inside of the trigger pocket. So it works. JB weld, aluminum flashing. That's how you do it.